Smoking in real life be like. Oh, giga, can we do him? Smoking in manga, that's like. Slice of life. It's a genre that. Hey, 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 hey! I'm talking here. It's a genre I've never been able to fully get into because, well, a lot of the times I find. Cute girls do cute things. It's. I can see something way too often. It's about shows or stories I have zero interest or relatability to. Because look, I'm a 32-year-old grown-ass adult. What the hell am I gonna have in common with watching the hundredth show about some high school girl sitting in a classroom going? That's what it's all about. Usually. There is rarely anything in this genre for me, so it came as a big surprise when I found Smoking Behind the Supermarket with You, a manga that tackles something I can finally relate to, something that's not more cute anime girls, something I rarely get to see. Being a boring ass adult. This manga might have ignited a fire in me I had no idea it could be ignited. It hit a spot I am now trying relentlessly to fill up, and if you're a boring ass adult like me, I think you might like it too. Oh, and there's Why? an anime goth girl in it. Oh my god! And before that, let's talk about the sponsor of today's video, oh. Raycon. Uh. Guys, as you might know, I've been traveling around a lot recently. Uh, I've got a husband. A pair of headphones has become a necessity. I need a pair Man. with me when I travel, when I go to a gym. I need an extra special pair with me when I'm doing research. Thankfully, Raycon has my bag with these affordable, noise-isolating earbuds. They've been my on one. a mission to prove that people should have to pay more than necessary for top quality. <laughs> make it with Asmus less, please. You can buy more than one pair in a variety uh, of different colors and still pay less than what uh, you want uh, compared to other big-name brands without worrying about quality. Which is a good thing because <laughs> I lose and misplace my headphones yeah. all the damn time. That wasn't scripted, that's generally just the truth. Their everyday earbuds can last up to eight hours and their custom gel tips ensure that things ah. never feel uncomfortable. Being water and sweat resistant ah. means that I know they're going to last a long time too. And best of all, if you're dissatisfied, then ah. Raycon has an easy and free return policy. But with over 50,000 five-star reviews and amazing crystal clear audio quality, I don't see why you would. So, what are you waiting for? Click that link in the description or go to buyraycon.com no. slash gigup to get 15% no. off your Raycon no. purchase. Thank you to Raycon for sponsoring me today, and with that said, back to the video. Uh, Sasaki doesn't have a lot going on in his life. Working at a soul-sucking job for a company that barely treats him like a human being, he doesn't have a lot to look forward to in his day-to-day uh, -day grind. That is, except for the cheerful smile of Yamada, the lovely clerk at the supermarket he visits after his shift that brings him just a small dose of joy in his otherwise tedious life. After one particularly grueling day, however, he pops in to find out that she's already ended her shift. So, to deal with the fact that today he doesn't get to see Yamada's joyful face, there's only one solution he can think of. Lung cancer. How many cigarettes have you got on? Unfortunately, in Japan, huffing copium in public has been made illegal and also slightly frowned upon. So looking for a place to spark oh. up a ciggy in private, he gets called over behind the supermarket by a mysterious girl who calls herself Tayama. Wow, what a unique name. I wonder where she got that from, huh? She looks a little edgy, slick leather jacket, choker, boots, dark lipstick, but looks a little familiar, eh? I wonder what the old man thinks. I've never met this man in my life. She's noticed that he's always stopping at Yamada's cashier and teases him a bit. Yeah, she's a little cheeky, bit of a cheeky girl, probably eats a lot of Nando's, but finds out that Sasaki does doesn't have any ulterior motives. He's just an older dude who appreciates Yamada's gleeful energy. They get talking and a small friendship starts to form. And so Sasaki finds a new cycle in his daily routine as every time he visits the supermarket, he shares a smoke break with this mysterious girl as they talk about stuff. Yeah. That's it. That's, yeah, that's <laughs> it's usually stuff. About two adults who go smoking. The market to share a smoke break together. Now, before I recommend this manga, as we all know, smoking is bad for your health. Here are yes. just some of the negative effects of smoking: increased risk of cancer, heart uh -huh. disease, lung uh -huh. disease, strokes, uh -huh. chronic bronchitis, emphysema. Too much. And too much. Else too much of everything. Helping to support me for this month. <laughs> of other stuff that is just absolutely terrible for your health. Now. Are there any positive effects of smoking? No. Getting the chance to vibe with the hot goth girl behind your local combini? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> It doesn't work. <laughs> the Supermarket with you was one of the most popular and hyped up newly published series in Japan last year. And when what? I read the first chapter, I didn't understand why. Five chapters later, I still didn't understand why. 26 <laughs> chapters later, and I still didn't understand why. The next chapter. Wait, this is a monthly release? I have to wait a bloody month now? Oh no. I like this manga. It's comforting. It's relatable. It's 
needs a shorter name because goddamn, this is going to be tedious to pronounce. <laughs> but most importantly, it is a vibe if you're over the age of 23 because most extraordinarily, it is a manga starring actual adults. No overly anime bullshit, no exaggerated personalities, just two fully grown adults chilling with each other, talking about random shit. It's a story that perfectly portrays the vibe of the small intricacies and mundanity of adult life. And I know that sounds like a weird way to make a story sound appealing, but hear me out, okay? All right, so I'm going to you got tangent, but stick with me. I swear I'm going somewhere with this. <clears throat> so back when I worked for the BBC... No, get out How do you put a hell gun? You know, I work for the BBC! Back during we the can't do too much. Oh, come on. Kingdom Transmission Organization, I had my own little routine. <laughs> There'd be a single Tesco's Express on my way back and every day I would go in and give myself a little treat. We all love to clown on British food, rightly so, but one thing I'll always happily defend is their crisps. It's pretty much the only time you'll find properly seasoned what? food in England. And to me, one stood above them all. Walker's Max Punchy. Seriously, cookies. chips? Cut crisps with that wait, 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 there's a, there's a sponsor. <laughs> and maximize the delicious smoky paprika. Se se seriously, to the price of 75p. This was my little treat to signify the end of a hard day's work, so you'd understand my horror when one day I walked in and I found out that this particular branch of Tesco's had stopped selling Walker's Max crisps. What? Why? Why would they do this? What did they expect to do? Settle for the inferior plain old Walker's crisps? Settle for a flavor that's not punchy for paprika? Add five minutes oh. of my daily walk home so I can see if Sainsbury's has it? No! I wasn't gonna do that. I refused to do that. So like a true Brit, I masked my disappointment by filing a complaint in my mind, walking home dejected and crispless, and return the next day to burn the entire store down. Now that may have sounded like a weird tangent, but that was a slice of my adult life. Sometimes the smallest and most mundane things is the stuff that stands out the most in your day, and that's the vibe that is perfectly captured in Smokers Anonymous behind Tesco's Express. It's just like he doesn't come to the same cashier every day because he has a weird, creepy crush, but because seeing that joyful smell brightens his day just a little bit. She's no punchy paprika, but I get it. And Tayama serves as the emotional crux I wish I had when I couldn't tell anybody about the atrocity Tesco's had committed on me that day. Sasaki finishes work one day after accidentally making a girl cry because he tried giving a team member encouraging words but unintentionally came off as angry and aggressive. In England, we call that what? forgetting to end your business emails with kind regards and instead just saying regards. <sighs> he tells Tayama about it and she gives him a sound pep talk about how shit like this doesn't matter in the long term. If you're a good person, that team member will eventually realize that in time. But if you're really worried about it, here's how to smile and not look like an angry psychopath. He starts to laugh. She gives him a bit of shit back. He starts to worry that he accidentally just made her angry then and there. And she's like, nah, don't overthink it, bro. And that's it. That's the chapter. There's just something satisfying about seeing people bonding and growing closer over the simplest conversations. Work life, huh. dating, small menial shit that happens in their day, just two adults being real with each other. And as someone who's introverted, these are the situations I love. All right, fellow introverts, hear me out. Talking to strangers what? I'm listening. scary. Hmm? Talking to people you don't know can be exhausting, but to <laughs> me, it becomes worth it in that moment when you find that one person you just instantly vibe with. It doesn't have to be about having the same common interests as them or even having similar personalities. Something about that energy just clicks with you. For once, you don't feel like you're draining your social energy hanging out with someone. One five minute interaction accidentally turns into a two hour conversation as you lost track of time oh. talking about shit you don't even remember talking about. And that's the beauty <laughs> encapsulated in this manga. Sasaki and Tayama aren't necessarily similar. They aren't even that close to each other in age, but goddamn if there isn't something comforting about their chemistry together. You're just watching two adults vibing with each other, shooting the shit about stuff that doesn't really matter. And I didn't know I could get this invested in a story about two people just enjoying each other's company. As time goes on, we even see a slight romance subplot start to form. We might want to keep this on the down low because I do have a bit of an age gap and we don't want to give Twitter something new to pretend to be mad about. I want problems <laughs> to with. The rest is short, it's treated as maturely as the rest of the manga is. From the start, Sasaki never came in with nefarious intentions, and the evolution of their relationship feels completely natural as they slowly start to emotionally rely on one another, give each other companionship, so any kind of developing feelings never takes priority over what they provide for each other and why they keep coming back. An honest to god, human connection. Alright, I would be lying though if I didn't say I wasn't just a little bit invested because Tayama is just mm. perfect. The leather jacket, the choker, the punk energy, adding just a tiny bit of tsun tsun energy. She gets a little cheeky, has a little devious side to her personality, but it's nothing but just a bit of banter. Wait a minute. Another manga about a guy and a mischievous anime girl with a romantic tension? Wait a minute. Oh? This is just another teasing manga. Wait a minute.
This is just what? Nagatoro for adults! The only trouble right now is that because this manga is still pretty new and it's on a monthly release schedule, I've not had nearly enough to satisfy my craving, which caused me to come to the realization when searching for similar stories is that why is there not more shows like this? We have an avalanche of Moe Blob mm -hmm. high school girls doing some mundane activity, and you know, I get it. It's cute, it's comfy, but whose slice of life is this? I like my cute anime girls, but I can't relate to this. What do you think I look like? A fucking Funko mm -hmm. Pop? That must be some slice of life with adults out there. Oh, hell yeah. New game, a slice of life about working adults and the game development work. This? This is the adults? Spot the next to the Lawsons hits a spot I didn't know I wanted it to hit. And if that sounds like your thing, please, dear God, just give it a read. Because not only do I want this to get more popular, mm. but I want more stories like this. No high school anime bullshit, no after school club activities, no cute girls doing cute things. We have adult people doing adult things. Wait a minute. No cute anime girls? Just a bunch of adults talking about dumb bullshit that doesn't really matter? Why does this sound so familiar to me? <laughs> oh, <fuck. laughs> ah, hey listen. guys, hope you enjoyed that video. Thank you very much this month too. Alpha Sigma, Author Curtis Eckstein, Basil, Dysfunctional Degenerate, Flabberwocky, I Vito, Lavados, Misaka12315, Pain Padgett, Pony Star. So many, so many patrons. And everyone else, my Patreon, for helping to support me for this month and making this video possible. Now, guys, if you haven't heard already, I am going to be going on tour. In Europe, yeah, in Europe. Off of the US tour, me and the Some Cash Taste little battle here. Europe. Europe this year. <laughs> and yes, before you say anything, we know it's a North Europe tour. Sorry, South Europeans. Yes, we're going to be hitting Dublin, Copenhagen, Amsterdam, Stockholm, Oslo, Berlin, London, and Cardiff. So if you're in any of those cities at the end of August to mid-September, come check us out. Links in the description if tickets are already on sale, and if not, well, look out for the announcement. Anyway, though, that's it from me. I've been Gigak, and I'll see you all... He, he, he doesn't look like this. <laughs> okay. <laughs>